James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 5th, 2022, 4 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, it's been a rough day, a rough night. We've had our electromagnetic shield lighting up like Christmas. We've seen spikes in the shield that exceed four, 500 hertz. And, of course, when you see this, you instantly think that the Schumann residence must be going off pretty hard. Let's take a look. And we do have confirmation. The Schumann resonance is off the hook, blowing through 105 hertz, which is off the chart here in Italy. This is the Italian model. And uh, the geophones are getting torn up up here in pink. Uh, you can see that we're having quite the ride, to say the very least. So many of these spikes or off the charts, and it's been ongoing for some time now. Now, this goes back as far as 1200 UTC time, and it looks like we're still having spikes on the Schumann. We're going to look at some of the other models. Let's see if we can find out how long this has been going on and when it started. So it looks like it started right around 9.30, 10 UTC time. Now, why is that number sounds strange well that's the exact time that the solar flare went off sending the coronal mass ejection towards earth which will also have sent electrons and protons towards earth that matches up pretty well and it seems to be dissipating i'm wondering if this is not a direct hit from a flare even maybe larger than the was disclosed to the public. Nevertheless, this goes off the charts and it's ongoing for at least at least 11 hours of Schumann resonance spiking and we're still ongoing currently. The geophone strips are not as bad as they were four and three and two hours ago, but uh, they are still seen a lot of interference i.e. picking up a large vibration of some sort all right heading over to our tomsk schumann resonance model uh, it's starting to look like they've actually patched something in right here I'm not quite sure what they've done never seen anything quite like it what we do see here is that we've had a lot of schumann resonance spiking some go off the chart chart here ends at 40 hertz so this is again a long-term situation that lasted about 11 hours maybe a little longer just about as long as what we're seeing right now it happened before what we're seeing right now just slightly as the world turns now another indication that we might uh, be experiencing another force of energy as we rotate 360 degrees every day i.e. Russia would get hit first, then Italy, and then we'd see the Canadian model get hit. And that is pretty much what we're seeing. We will take a look at CERN and the Canadian model, but this is a good uh, extrapolation on the evidence. So headed over to the Canadian model, Lortain University, very hard for me to say it, there is a huge spike off the charts here. Charts end at 50 hertz. This is your Schumann resonance right here. Uh, but it's few and far between. Although it looks like it's getting started right now, which would just about be perfect based on our hypothesis of us being subjected to some other force of energy as we actually rotate 360 degrees every day. Now, to further back that up, well, we see that CERN is off. I'm going to tell you why CERN is off, just so we all are on the same page. It's Saturday in Switzerland, and everyone running this project is a Jew. They would work on a Sunday, 
but nothing ever happens on a Saturday, period. Jumping over to take a look at our magnetosphere planes, our pressure being pushed on the night side of the planet, again, is substantial compared to the bow shock, which makes little to no sense, unless, again, there's another source of energy in that direction. Now, we do have Saturn behind us, slightly off-centered, but this has been going on for far longer than Saturn has positioned itself behind Earth. Most of my subscribers realize that in this model, you're moving to the left here, or Earth is this little circle that's white, sun-facing, and black, nighttime, spinning 360 degrees at all times, i.e. the night side being subject to this force that appears to be coming either from further out in our solar system or outside of our solar system entirely. This could be anything from a binary star that's even ultraviolet or infrared uh, that would not be visible to the human eye. It could be a rogue planet, a black hole. It could be something we know nothing about. But we are receiving energy on the backside of the planet. And in this model, again, Earth is moving to the left at about 67,000 miles an hour, orbiting the sun that's pulling Earth away from the Big Bang, the Milky Way galaxy, and the sun is only moving at 540,000 miles an hour. So we do have winds coming up from behind us at over 3 million miles an hour. What is generating them? I don't have the answer. If I did, I would definitely give it to you guys. God bless you and yours. Any comments uh, or hypotheses are greatly appreciated in the comments below. Please share, subscribe, always remember anything is possible in Bizarro World.